Hello, friends and listeners, those who are interested in poetry and Russian culture. I recently came across a couple of very deeply philosophical and psychological Touching Every Human Being poems by Zinaida Gipius, who was born in 1869 in Tsarist Russia and died in Paris in 1945. I will not retell here her biography, which is, by the way, quite interesting one, because you can find it online. I will just comment on a few things which I did not find online. The picture of Zinaida here is of 1897. It has her handwriting, her four-line poem in the right upper corner. I found this picture on the page of an American scholar, a female, who did an article on Zinaida and placed this picture over there. However, she missed to explain what Zinaida wrote with her hand on the picture. So, I am giving here the English translation of that, and I have to mention that even for Russians, it is not very easy to decipher from the first look what is written by Zinaida's hand. Why? In Tsarist, one of the reasons is in Tsarist, uh, Pre-Soviet Russia, they used so-called hard signs. Tvrdy znak, singular. Tvrdy znaki, plural. In writing. In handwriting. Uh, I mean, in generally in writing. <laughs> the hard sign was put after every single consonant in the end of the word. If the word was ending in a consonant, for example, even the preposition uh, v, which is in English in, preposition in, <clears throat> in Russian just one consonant, v, like in Victor, v. So even it had a hard sign behind it. So it would be two letters instead of one letter. Um, Soviet grammarians, obviously practical people, eliminated that absolutely unnecessary hard sign after the final consonants. We still have the hard sign in Russian, but it will be only in a few words in the middle of the word to make a separation in the pronunciation. For example, объект, объявление. If to miss the hard sign here after the first two letters, the pronunciation will suffer. So, the hard sign is necessary nowadays to separate the consonant. Uh, I mean, not nowadays, but in these particular examples. <laughs> in these particular examples. Um, the hard sign is necessary to separate the consonant B, object, объявление, and the next vowel, E, object, object. If I don't separate, I will say object, which is not correct, okay? Object. And the consonant uh, B and the next vowel, Я, in объявление, in the word объявление. Объявление. Object, uh, object has many meanings depending on the context. Uh, one of them is object, by the way, uh, the meaning. And объявление, the meaning is an announcement or the hanging written sign. Sorry for going deep into the explanation about the hard sign. However, the point is important. I have a book of Tsarist time edition of Mikhail Yurievich Lermontov, our favorite, beloved poet, absolutely beloved. And it is all written with hard signs. The book is the most beautiful antique book, but it is not as comfortable to read as to read modern books. Exactly because the hard signs are all over the place. So here... I specifically rewrote Zinaida's four-liner on a piece of paper exactly as she wrote it by her hand and with the old rules. For example, today the verb rassudit, meaning to judge apart, to judge somebody, uh, two people, to judge two people apart, to judge between us who is right, who is wrong, this is the meaning, is spelled rassudit with double S, as I am printing here. Double S. But in times of Zinaida, as we see in her note, obviously they spelled it with Z S. Now we have the rule of the following voiceless consonant. They both have to be voiceless. So uh, nowadays we spell it S S. 
Many interesting facts one can notice just looking at the pictures of Zinaida and just seeing the titles of her poems that are made specifically, very simplified, oversimplified, comparing with the very deep content of, the, of those poems. I will try to add those observations in my comments later on, not to drag this lecture forever. And I will read the poem now in Russian and in its English translation. I translated it into English, trying to present the thought of Zinaida as close as possible. Да будет то, что будет, светла душа моя, с тобой нас Бог рассудит, и к Богу ближе я. Let it be what it is supposed to be. My soul is light, not dark. God will judge what it is between you and me. However, I am closer to God. So Zinaida wrote it in 97, 1897. And I am Zoya Eliseeva. Today it is January 14th. 2023. I am in Phoenix, Arizona, USA. Thank you.